Black History Month as we continue to celebrate our history, and that includes food culture. Chefs from all backgrounds have helped shape American cuisine. And CBS 2 Steve Overmeyer spent a day with a man who captures those moments in the kitchen and shares them with the world. In each kitchen, every culinary artist brings their own tools. Some are razor sharp, others are sharp in focus. Clay Williams is a renowned food photographer. He's contributed to the New York Times and Zagat's. His vision has become a staple of high-end food photography. While Clay is shooting the food, he adds to the atmosphere. I think being able to talk to them and connect with them um, puts them at ease a little bit. <laughs> Just hours before oh. service at Brooklyn Point, Which, Chef Lana Lagomarsini and, and Chef Nana Wilmot are preparing dishes partly inspired by Ghanaian delicacies. Both have worked at Michelin star restaurants. So how did you guys develop the, the menu together? Just like in the kitchen, sometimes the best dishes are the ones with the most diverse ingredients. The more people you have coming from different backgrounds, different flavors, different cuisines, the more perspectives you have and the more likely you are to create new and interesting things. And what makes his art special is the people. It feels to them like it's just very authentic. Yeah. Is that your superpower? <laughs> I don't know if it's a superpower. I just like to, you know, I like to connect with people. He's become more of a connector by helping black professionals in fine dining. He is the co-creator of Black Food Folks, which started as a blog, but expanded into a community. In the food industry, it always seems like, oh, well, there aren't that many black folks in the industry, but it turns out that there are a lot. They just don't get very much attention. Black Food Folks contributes to the community with events and podcasts, and last year they gave $50,000 in grants to black-run businesses. In Brooklyn, Steve Overmeyer, CBS2 News. And if you'd like to join the conversation in the Black Food Folks community, you can find a link at cbsnewyork.com.